Hi, I'm Rosa Aguirre, and this is Presenting to Win by Jerry Wiseman. Um, Presenting to Win gives you an overview on how to master the art of powerful presentations that will not only inform the audience, but also persuade them on the subject you're presenting. In most cases, presenters rely on their slides and graphics and how to say it without kind of grasping their audience. So this book will give you some insight on how to use the proper graphics, some couple techniques on what you can and cannot do during a presentation in order to make it effective and efficient. Um, some of these key concepts come with different techniques in order to combat things that may arise when using them. So Presenting to Win is a book written by Jerry Wiseman and it's one of the best tell-all books whether you're still learning or an expert in presentation. Jerry Wiseman holds a master's degree in speech and drama from Stanford University and Wiseman is the number one corporate presentation coach and he is the founder of Power Presentations. He has an extensive background working with top companies, some that you may even heard of. It includes Yahoo, Dolby, Intuit, Cisco Systems, and also the most famous one, Microsoft. Jerry Wiseman has an immense amount of knowledge and experience when it comes to presenting, and he's worked in the private sector. But this book is special because it's an international bestseller. And a key concept that really spoke to me was the Wi-Fi. It's derived from what's in it for me. So it's now changed to what's in it for you. And it's because of that, because it, the focus is meant to shift from you to your audience. So the Wi-Fi is meant to help you in a persuasive situation. And it focuses on the benefits in the audience of the persuasive situation. So as presenters, we need to think of what's in it for you, you being our audience. What's in it for our audience members? What benefits them? This related to me because at the time, I never thought about that. What's in it for them? I always thought my presentation looks great. Everything is good. The data's on there. I know how I can do this. But I never thought what they can take home from it. And this technique allows presenters to move from point A to point B swiftly and efficiently. And this technique can be used in real life scenarios when recruiting a new employee, um, asking for more funding from stakeholders and you can do this with presenters thinking in mind about their wifi during the presentation it helps the audience engagement there's six techniques that Wiseman goes over in order to introduce it to make it easier in your presentation these are questions like this is important for you because what does this mean to you why am I telling you this who cares so what and lastly and a Bible verse that kind of related to me and I was able to go put it hand in hand was the wise are known for their understanding and pleasant words. If you don't know what you're speaking of and if you don't understand what your audience needs, then it's not going to sound pleasant and your presentation isn't going to really under, it's not really going to get the attention it deserves. So knowing your audience is very important and that's the next key concept I'm going to speak about is knowing my audience so you can create an effective presentation only if you know your audience and what they're interested in and what they care about because they're problems that face every day or have different biases and dreams than we have so when presenting you can always run into the problem with your audience that you guys don't see eye to eye because your audience will be different every single time as a presenter. So you'll have your opinion and they'll have theirs. And you can come to a standstill because of this. But a concept that will allow the presenter to get to know their audience better is through audience advocacy. Audience advocacy is their main goal. It's to exemplify the needs of the audience to better understand how to serve their needs. Wiseman then mentions that this simply means that the presenter will learn to view the audience in the eyes of the audience. And there's five cardinal sins of a presentation that start with having no clear point, no audience, benefit, no clear flow, too detailed and too long. One of the main consequences of this is Mego effect, which means mine eyes glaze over. And this typically happens when the presenter uses data, but then uses that in a presentation as a read off and a data dump. So they're looking here instead of focusing on you. They're just kind of reading and reading and getting through it. And it doesn't have really any audience engagement. So these sins stand in the presenter's way. So by being aware of these five cardinal sins, it will help you achieve more with your audience. It'll help you get a better understanding of what you're both are wanting to get out of the presentation. 
Lastly, the key concept that I was able to relate to more was capturing one's audience. When starting a presentation, the presenter must know when it's the most appropriate time to start. The presenter already knows the audience and has prepared beforehand. And now the time is here. It's your turn to present and it's your turn to get your audience benefit across. He is your praise. He is your God who performed for you those great and awesome wonders you saw with your own eyes. This made me think of how God was always preaching and healing and he always knew his audience and he always did great things and we always saw him. And as leaders and presenters, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to capture our audience. Wiseman states that creativity is needed at this point in order to capture our audience. He says that, that most likely they're not gonna catch the first part of the introduction. So there's opening gambits to grasp their attention immediately. There's seven opening gambits in order to use this technique. So you have a couple to choose from. You can use a quotation, a question, little known fact or statistic, um, retrospective or perspective to take your forward back in time. These three concepts made a big difference and I think I can use all of these in order to continue my business endeavors later on. These opening gambits are to lead the presenter to point B of the presentation. The opening presentation should be like an elevator speech, which is short, one to two sentences, giving an overview of the presentation and what the objective is. So if you're doing this, you can use it as another tool that goes hand in hand in order to get your presentation smooth and across. So with yourselves, if with your tongue you utter, speech is not intelligible, how will anyone know what is said? For you will be speaking into the air, Exodus 4.11. So every time we present, we need to know to be intelligent, 